Hey, this is Presh Towalker reminding you to mind your decisions. A square with a side length of 1 has an inscribed semicircle along one of its sides as shown. The blue line starts at the top left corner of the square, is tangent to the semicircle, and ends at the side of the square. What is the length of the blue line? I saw this problem on the blog Data Genetics, and I highly encourage you check out the website for many interesting problems. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Before I get to the solution, I want to mention a related problem, how to solve the shape-shifting triangle. If you haven't seen that video, give it a watch, it's a very fun problem. There's actually a key principle in that video which I'm going to quickly go over because it'll help us solve this problem. The key principle is that a pair of tangents from outside a circle have equal length. In other words, in this figure, AB and AC will have the same length. How do we prove that? Draw radii to the points of tangency. Both of these will be tangent, so they'll be right angles, and they'll have the same length of the radius of the circle. Now connect point A to the center of the circle and denote that distance as W. Since we have right triangles, we can solve for the remaining leg. AB will be the square root of W squared minus R squared, and AC will have the same length. Therefore, AB and AC have equal length. And that's what we needed to show. Let's use this principle to solve the problem in this video. We're going to construct some external tangents to the semicircle. First consider the upper left corner of the square. This is tangent to the semicircle, and its length is the side of the square, so its length will be 1. We also have one more tangent to the semicircle, and this will have the same length of 1 by the principle of equal tangents. Now we're going to construct another set of equal tangents. Notice that this line here and this line here will both be external tangents to the semicircle. Therefore, they'll have the same length, and we're going to denote these distances as y. Since this portion of the side of the square has a length of y, the remaining portion of this side will be 1 minus y because the entire side of the square is equal to 1. The hypotenuse of this right triangle will be 1 plus y. So now we can solve for y because we have a right triangle and we're going to use the distance formula. 1 squared plus the quantity 1 minus y squared is equal to the quantity 1 plus y squared. We simplify this and we solve that y is equal to 0.25. We simply substitute that back in and that gives us our value of x, which is 1.25. And that's the answer to this problem. So that was a fun problem. And to end this video, I want to paraphrase Steve Jobs. You can't always see the importance of math when you learn it. You can only see its value in hindsight. You have to trust your math teachers. Work hard and it will make all the difference in your life. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.